it's important for me now and moving forward to be really crucial about how I talk about my story and how other people talk about my story. And I don't want my narrative also to be this vice of exceptionalism. Hello, my name is Wajiko Gathero. Friends call me Wawa. I am a senior at the University of Connecticut and I study environmental studies. I'm 21 years old and recently I was awarded the Rhodes Scholarship, the Truman Scholarship, and the Udall Scholarship. And I'm the first black person to receive all three awards. Congratulations, you are a Truman Scholar. <laughs> yeah. And a Udall Scholar. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. The Truman Scholarship is an award for for students interested in public service. The Udall Scholarship is an environmental leadership and native policy and healthcare. And the Rhodes Scholarship is an international postgraduate fellowship for students interested in quote unquote fighting the world's fight. It's really important, I think, for, for the folks that apply and receive those awards to think really critically about where they come from. Morris Udall and Stuart Udall were both environmental leaders, and Truman, who was a previous U.S. president. Both of those scholarship programs have a very heavy emphasis on the people who apply and receive to really ponder and really grapple with those legacies and see whether you agree, whether you disagree, and what their leadership means to you. So naturally, when I was thinking about the Rhodes Scholarship, I said, okay, let me do some more research. And I began to understand that, you know, Cecil Rhodes was a racist, a colonialist, an imperialist, an awful man, and his legacy continues to have a direct influence on the disenfranchisement of black South Africans. And as an African person, I said, you know, it's absolutely critical that I think really um, crucially about whether or not I want to apply and what it would mean for me to receive this scholarship. Both of my parents are immigrants from Kenya, and they met after they immigrated here. Before I applied, I sat my parents down and I talked about this legacy and kind of gave them this history lesson and came to find out they had already heard about Rhodes, not necessarily connecting Cecil Rhodes with the Rhodes Scholarship. And it led to this really interesting conversation on what does it mean to redefine a legacy and live that out. Something that also really enticed me was before I applied, I found a couple of videos online that the Rhodes Trust had hosted in regards to providing space, actually debates, for students to come forward and have conversations on whether or not Rhodes should fall. And now, as a Rhodes Scholar-elect and as someone who is going to be a part of this community for the rest of my life, it's absolutely crucial that I continue to confront this history, welcome people to challenge me about my decision to associate with it, and do everything that I can as a current and future public servant to empower the communities that continue to be disenfranchised by that legacy. During my first year at Oxford, I will be studying an MSc in Nature, Society, and Environmental Governance. And I'm really interested in my second year and doing a social policy degree. What does it mean when environmental terminology has been defined by certain people and other conceptions of fairly simple terms, nature, wilderness, society, understanding how to um, make sure that resulting environmental policy is grounded in this really holistic and inherently inclusive understanding of these terms, specifically in centering how um, people of color have and continue to conceptualize those terms. According to the two people briefed in the meeting, the president asked, quote, why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here? It's comical that our president has decided to use terminology like shithole countries because when I think of the climate space and the environmental space, think about the people that have been doing the work, unfortunately not validated. So many black and brown people from these quote unquote shithole countries have had to be doing the work. How are you going to call these countries shithole countries when these are the people that are creating the, the solutions that are going to allow you and your grandchildren to continue to live? being the first black person to get Rhodes, Truman, Udall, and being, you know, dubbed an environmental justice activist, to which I am, I think of how problematic it is in regards to how people are validating me 
and not validating people that have been in this space longer, have put their lives on the line. I think we need to be really critical about how we simply uplift people for their association with things because that perpetuates a very hierarchy that we're talking about dismantling. And I don't want my narrative also to be this vice of um, exceptionalism. I am because of others. There's nothing that I am that is me alone.